Since the dawn of time, great men have challenged the status quo and dared to dream. Through great hardship, absolute determination and self-sacrifice, these men vowed to change the world for the betterment of all humanity. CNN breaking news. The University of Oregon made a major announcement on stem cells, one that could lead to breakthroughs in the treatment of Parkinson's, cancer, and many other diseases. For the first time, human skin cells have been transformed into embryonic stem cells. Dr. Shukrat Matalipov of the University of Oregon were successfully able to insert an adult skin cell into an unfertilized human egg which had been stripped of its existing DNA. So that way the stem cells we create, they would be compatible if we transplant these tissues back into patients. The process called somatic cell nuclear transfer or SCNT is not new but the results are and are considered to be a quantum leap forward in the reversal of aging and the treatment of disease. The stem cells came to its own with Dolly the Sheep in 1997. Up until now, the problem has been one of rejection. The, our body simply rejects all foreign objects put into it, including somebody else's stem cells. It's been 15 years since we invented embryonic stem cells. No one figured out to use it. You know, ever since scientists discovered embryonic stem cells, they wanted to be able to tailor make those cells with the genetic material of the patients they're trying to treat. And this is the technique that would finally be able to accomplish that goal. From the woman's egg, we took out her DNA, put my old, 70-year-old DNA in its place, grew it in vitro, developed embryonic stem cells, 8-0. This is huge. This is a game changer. This could eliminate all disease. This perhaps is immortality. Peter Nygaard, a Finnish-Canadian fashion tycoon and self-made billionaire who parlayed an $8,000 loan into an empire with annual profits in the hundreds of millions. I want to live forever or die trying. Bring the action. One man, younger at heart than those half his age, living a life most could only dream of, yet sharing his collective fortune with our collective human fate. To live forever. A thousand year old quest made by the legendary Ponce de Leon, the Spanish explorer who spent his day searching for the fountain of youth. Ponce de Leon had the right idea. He was just too early. That was then. This is now. Preach. If you want something different, beloved, you've got to do something different. This has always been a four step plan to find the right technology find the right country, to write the proper laws, and to get the correct facility. Human beings in a mind. Currently, there are two leading technologies in stem cell duplication, SCNT and what is called IPS, induced pluripotent stem cells. But when I ask anybody, which would actually be better, IPS or SCNT? Well, of course, SCNT. If we could ever get past the religious objections and all the bad PR it's getting. Last time when it was announced by some Korean researchers, it turned out to be a hoax, right? Or a... It was a fraud. It was... SCNT was dropped altogether. Nobody was interested in it longer. Nobody except me. Critics say the stem cells come from destroying embryos. And my newsmaker tonight says that that is simply not true. The way in which these stem cell lines were derived is from embryos that are created in the process of in vitro fertilization. And in fact, there are hundreds of thousands of these embryos that are simply being discarded. We throw in the garbage. We shouldn't do that. And so in 2009, Peter Nygaard creates Nygaard Biotech employing four top scientists from around the world in the field of SCNT, channeling his tremendous energy towards finding the missing link in stem cell technology. The top scientist in SCNT. I'll give you my DNA now. And one of them was Russian. And of course the Russian was discovered it. I'm very glad in any event that uh, you stayed honest and you made this uh, huge discovery. Well, this is a very well-respected, well-known keynote scientist out at Oregon Health and Science University. The technology is real, so it works. It's uh, it's done deal. When we die, the money we can't keep, but we probably spend it all because the pain ain't cheap. 
with the Western world still embroiled in political debate over embryonic stem cells, Peter set out to find a suitable host country. We traveled everywhere in the world uh, now for the last two years, just looking. In Shenzhen, Peter forges a partnership with BGI, the world leader in genome sequencing, technology that eliminates all guesswork in medical diagnosis. Combined with SCNT, he would possess both the technology to target future health risks and correct them before they ever happen. But owning the right technology would mean nothing without a country to embrace its use. Bahamas is almost like the 51st state of the United States. It sits there half an hour away from Miami. The Bahamas now has the opportunity to host several important stem cell initiatives. Prime Minister Christie has shown tremendous courage and political savvy in order to guide this through the legislature. I don't think I've ever seen or been at a more beautiful place. Two years ago, Peter Nygaard called me to say that if your country is prepared to pass legislation, I would find a way to bring scientists who I have retained and I'm prepared to have them come into the box. Interesting. So Bahama stands alone in being a unique country that has written laws and has made SCNT legal. It's been said that if you build it, they will come. This is basically building a new Mayo Clinic. Now, on an island paradise, Peter Nygaard will join hands with the will of a nation and the legislating power of the Bahamian government to build the world's first state-of-the-art clinic to integrate genomic sequencing and SCNT technology, free of political restriction and years ahead of its time. This will be the first of many future Nygaard clinics in places like India, Macau and Thailand. The time has come. This is a quantum leap. The future is now. This is Peter Nygaard's message through the effort of stem cell research that God has already given us our own medicine tucked within our bodies. Don't risk anything. You risk everything.